everybody, Chris Duncan here and welcome uh, to my channel. Haven't done much content on this recently, but I thought it's about time that I started getting out here and speaking to you guys more. Today, I want to talk about life coaching and why I think it's one of the best businesses that a heart-centered maniac on a mission can start. So stay tuned. If you've ever gone to a course, a uh, personal development course or an education course, you thought, you know what, I'd really love to do that uh, because that's what I did. In fact, uh, I'm so, so, so blessed that I have a $20 million life coaching business and a $3 million education business as well. And I and I truly believe in, in this work and in this process. Now, about, gosh, 15 years ago, I went to my first ever course and there's about 3,000 people there and I saw the speaker up on stage. And it, it made a big impact on my life and I, and I created a huge change from it. But something really even more important was left and that was this idea that I could help people and make money and that most people really didn't have the right direction in life. I know that I didn't. You know, prior to that, I was really lost. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I was doing. And because of this course, I learned how to create the right goals. I learned how to structure my values, my life and take action. And uh, I never forgot it. So, you know, a few years passed, I applied all the lessons and, uh, you know, I really got my life on track. And it was, a, it was a few years later that I then thought, you know what, that's something I want to actually do for other people. So if you've thought that as well, then uh, you're in the right place because right now the world needs as many heart-centered life coaches as possible. And, and so I want to decide and help you understand that life coaching is for you. N number one, what is a coach? If you look at the etymology of the word coach, <laughs> it comes from carriage. Uh, you know, so you, you got on a coach, there was a horse and, you know, maybe a cart, but it was called, it was called a coach. You went somewhere with it. See, a coach is someone that helps someone else get to where they want. That's what a coach does. If you think about like a, a basketball coach, um, there's a coach, Phil Jackson, coached uh, the Chicago Bulls, also coached LA Lakers and, you know, very, very successful coach, co coaching Michael Jordan and the late Kobe Bryant. He was also a player. So, so Phil Jackson won more medals than uh, won more titles rather than both Kobe and Jordan because he was their, both their coach. Uh, however, he was never uh, a, the quality player that they were. He definitely was a great player, made the NBA, but he wasn't a player like them. And so he was a great coach. He knew how to get the most out of others. And that's what a coach does. If you love getting the most out of others, then this might be your position to shine. I know it was for me. I know it was for me. Now, life coaching has a little bit of a bad rap at the moment. And that's because there are many people that go into it. It's a very unregulated industry. They go into it very little structure. And they do one thing again and again and again. And that is they focus on how the person is broken. And that's why I wrote this book. And I think it's why over 40,000 people bought one in its first couple of months. Is most life coaches... Focus on how someone is incomplete or broken and needs fixing. They try to say, here's the right way to think. Here's the right way to be. Here's the right way to, you know, do life. And it's just, it's just naive. It's just not right. You know, to this point, uh, this, this year, we've coached over 20,000 people this year. And I never tell them that I know what they should do with their life. Instead, life coaching, oh, I don't need to write it up. Life coaching is about helping people step into a new structure. See, most people's structure is that there's something wrong with them and they need to fix it. The, the truth is, is that a life coach helps you to become the creator of your own life. Well, that's what we do at the Superconscious Life Coaching Academy with Magnetic Mind. Our first thing is we say, you're not broken. You actually just need to know how to structure your life. So what is it you would love to create? Where are you now? And creating a life plan. We call it lenses. What would you like to create? Where are you now? And what actions must happen to turn that into reality? And I know that sounds simple, but it's just not the way that most people do life. Most people say, here's where I am. What's bloody wrong with it? And what should I fix? Like, what's not going good? It's a, it's a completely different orientation. That problem orientation where you look at what's wrong is what 95% of people and 99.9% .9 of coaches do. They say, let's look at what's wrong with your life and let's try to fix it. The problem with that is that by fixing what's wrong, there's no guarantee you get what you want. By fixing what's wrong, there's no guarantee you get what you want. And by the way, as soon as you just focus on fixing something, the only thing that's left over is a belief 
that you needed to fix yourself and what else can you fix about yourself? It's not creating. Creating is about bringing what you want into reality. Okay, what you want into reality. So maybe you want to have a better relationship. How do you create that relationship? What actions do you need to take to make that happen? Who do you need to be? If you want to have a successful business, I remember when I wanted just a million dollar business. And I thought, you know what? Let's create 10, now 20 plus another one doing three. And you know, now well, how do I create more? How do I impact more? I remember when I was single and I said, well, you know, I don't feel good being single. But as soon as I said, I want to create this. So that's the first shift that a coach does. Second, a coach must have a method or modality to remove all resistance to taking the obvious action. See, once you know, oh, I want to do that. I want to write a book or I want to want to be a speaker or I want to do this. or I want to create a relationship. You're going to have identity level resistance, meaning if it's something that you haven't created before, there's going to be an aspect of you that says, well, we've never had that. The unconscious part of you wants to keep everything the same. Therefore, your unconscious makes a decision. So as soon as you go for something, it says, we've never had that before. And it will throw up doubt, uncertainty. And my favorite one is, why would you even want to go for that? Life is good as it is. <laughs> and the reason I'm laughing at that, because life is just about creating whatever the next evolution of you is, you know, whatever it is. So it makes me laugh when I think about it. But, but that's what the unconscious does. It says, we don't want to change. And so the, a coach needs to have a way to have you focus on what you want and then let go of the old patterns of information that stop you moving towards what you want. Now, these old patterns of information are typically picked up between the ages of zero and four in print period where we're, we're learning how the world is. Uh, you know, Carl Jung calls it the individuation process. And so, so we, we're picking these up and going, okay, well, well that's how the world is. And, and usually someone's life, their body, their relationships, their money is a direct reflection of what their unconscious believes is safe. What their unconscious believes is survivable what their unconscious beliefs is the right way to be. And so if you look at your life, you can pretty much show yourself the map of your unconscious beliefs. It's just how it is. You're only going to create what is safe for your unconscious. So the coach first must know how to get you into the right orientation, not problem solving creation. The second is how to actually let go uh, of that which stops you. We use the super conscious method and uh, it's brilliant, brilliant method. But, you know, a coach needs to do that. The third thing, if you want to be a really successful coach, you must learn how to work with groups. You must learn how to work with groups. If you can't work with groups, you're going to be super limited and you're going to burn out. One-on-one -on -one coaching is great. Uh, however, the marginal benefit that someone, that a client gets from you working one-on-one -on -one with them is not worth it if you can only work with 10 to 20 people a week. Think about it. You do a coaching session with someone for an hour and a half. You do 20 of them a week, right? That's 30 hours. You got another 10 hours to do admin, follow up on payments, social media posts, whatever. You know, 20, 20 people is your max. And that didn't even um, count for sales calls or anything else. The only way for a coach to get freedom is to be able to work with groups. Now, what's lucky with, with us is, is we created a process that is a 12 week process that a person goes through with an online university. We actually give it to all our certified cl um, coaching clients, an online university, here's week one. So week one, we show them, you know, here's what you need to do. And then here's a live coaching session to remove your blocks. Here's week two, week three, et cetera. And uh, it's a really good process. So you must learn how to work with groups. If you're looking at whatever you're looking at, if, if they don't do these three things, if they, if they don't first, uh, you know, show you a really great method, show you how to step someone into the creative orientation and show you to work with groups, just don't go there. You know, I see many hypnosis certifications and the truth about getting certified hypnosis is that you end up just working with people that are asleep, you know, you put them in trance and you're going to work with them. A practitioner or a psychotherapist, you're going to work with one person. And, and to me, that's the most limiting thing in the world if I had to work with, with only one person. So you must learn how to work with groups. Anyway, I truly believe in life coaching. Uh, I believe for me, I have three coaches and they, they've all been amazing and they continue to be amazing because a coach doesn't need to be further than you down the track. They just need to be able to help you in your life. And I love, I, in fact, I've been able to uh, coach some pretty amazing people. In fact, someone that was on uh, a coach client of mine was actually part of a billionaire family. You know, some, some people that are really doing some amazing things. And 
And, and that's exciting. As a coach, you get to work from home, you get to impact people's lives, you get to make great money because people value coaching because it helps them get their results faster. We all know that there is more than enough people to, more than enough ways uh, for you to lose weight. There's more than enough ways to start a business. There's more than enough ways to get your marketing out there. There's more than enough info. Information isn't the problem. It's people are not living the right structure. They have resistance to taking the action and they need a bloody coach. It is so, when someone is a coach, they very rarely stop coaching because you make their life better. You don't have to leave your house. You can fit in the pockets of your times and you can work with groups. And that's the key. So I don't know about you, but if you're not sold on life coaching after that, then, then uh, you never will be because life coaching is for a particular person. Is someone that wants to get paid to help people live a better life. If you're interested in this, do reach out to us. I don't have anything to sell you. We do have certifications, other things like that, that if you're interested in, you can find more information. Do reach out. But, but just leave a comment. Uh, have you had an experience with a life coach? Are you a life coach? Why would you consider starting a life coaching business? Uh, and remember this, it's not about you. It's not about you. As a life coach, it's not about you. It's about your process. It's about your ability to help others. It's not a, no one wants to judge a basketball coach about how well they shoot shots. It's about how well they help others to shoot the shots. Have a great day. Leave a comment below if you want more videos like this. I love you so much. Uh, stay focused, stay magnetic. If you haven't already, grab a copy of my book. Uh, I'll leave a link down here so you get a free copy if you like. Talk soon. Bye.